friends this is the sweet little code box fidget spinner when it prints friends you will have some that you cannot break loose the most common reason is because when they were cutting out the inside they did not make these three pieces all holes you can see they did the holes for the two cones but the centerpiece they left as a solid so it printed as a solid therefore they will not spin let me show you quickly in the code how you can check to make sure they did it right. All right, friends, so real quick, watch this little critter draw. That's the original fidget. The problem that I see most often is that students did not make all three of these holes. So now when you hit play, you'll see this for sure. It's got the silly shadow up here. The other thing that you just saw in the last student was they did it like this. It cut out the two hollow areas, but they left this middle area solid, so then when you're done, it just won't spin. Once you get in and fix it, then you would have to come back and you'd have to export it with a new name so that you could reprint it. So that's how you fix your spinner. If I could get Tinkercad to add a new feature, I would like to be able to make an object transparent so that we could see in and easily spot this. We make this design in the normal Tinkercad design, and that's how I can double check it super quick, is by having it transparent, and then the student has a visual clue that there's a hole. Being able to make these transparent, also being able to enable and disable an object would be really cool as well, because we could disable the center, and then you'd be able to see how it runs. The idea of being able to turn objects on and off or enable and disable comes from how when you're a normal programmer, you can just comment something out when you don't want it to run at a certain moment. I think they could be really, really useful for people that are programming with Tinkercad code blocks. I do also want to remind you that there are bonus videos where you learn how to add words and shapes to your awesome projects. As you scroll down, these are Tinkercad designs that are made in the normal editor, and these are the ones created with Tinkercad's code blocks. Friends, don't forget if you make something awesome or have a question, you can always reach out to me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also visit this website, and there is a built-in messaging tool down at the bottom right. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe even hit that share button, and of course, if you got a question or comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.